Check, check. Everything sounds okay. Hello, Commander. Yo. Yo. Hey, hey. Can't hear you. Okay, so Nexus is on two, on top of on four. Eight and five, Storm and six. Nice, this is gonna be a very good game. Parker Borsik in the chat. Hello. By the way, this is this is Alex. My name is Alex. I'm uh, another Cossex player, not color fit, just to be clear. Okay. Okay, and the first game has started. So um, let's see. We have uh, on the top Nexus versus Baton, and on the bottom on Toha versus Stalin. Uh, mirror matchup in terms of nations. So, yeah, should be interesting. Completely standard. Yeah. Coming from every player so far, no deviation from the standard fast Diplo build. Okay, in the chat we have Colorfit. Hello, Colorfit. Um, Mikhail Lukyanov, um, Union Mike. Hello, hello. Vahan, Piotr Ruzik. Uh, Soklu is here. Welcome. Welcome everyone. And yeah, exactly like you said, everyone playing very standard. It's expected, this option's been played a long time, so we know what the, the best build is. And one opt in for the Siege Cossacks. Although Baton only producing uh, 5 uh, compared to other people's 10. Mm hmm. Saving a little bit on, on the gold, 300 gold it saves. Um, we'll see if it'll pay off for him. Antoha, on the other hand, produced uh, 16. So he's uh, going to be able to do some things here in the center. He's going to be able to clear the center of any uh, units of the other team that are giving them some map vision. 
Matan actually trying to sneak one siege into the flank of Nexus's base, try and catch any building mines, but doesn't seem to do so. We have a huge amount of uh, siege from Antoka in Batman's base right now, just dragging away some of the production, so he's late to reinforce, but not really accomplishing anything. Does meet up with Stalman Siege, who's come to assist his ally. There does seem to be a stray Antoka formation. He's a fan of doing this, sending his first 15 uh, into the center of the map. They do get scouted out by these Siege, though. Mm -hmm. Stalman looking to be very aggressive against uh, Antoka here. Does have some archers yeah. and some light infantry. D do believe that is a 72 formation that he has right now. So opted to send all his pikes in one formation. Is sending some stragglers down to the south as well. May actually just regroup. He does decide to do so. Nexus in the center of the map here. Maybe looking to, uh, to bring a 2v2v1 2 2v1 onto Stalman. Batten is chasing with some of these units. With his first formation. I would like to see Stalman actually uh, look to engage uh, Nexus's army here. As they could do, uh, uh, bring the 2v1 and turn it onto, into their favour. There is being some mines burnt here. He's going to lose the gold mine. Does evacuate the peasants just in time. It seems to have been quite a heavy skirmish in the top. I believe that uh, Baton actually lost his uh, uh, his formation and does lose a mine because of it. So uh, both uh, Baton and Stalman right now both losing some of their economy. He does try to com. Ooh, Nexus does try to commit onto uh, Stalman's town hall to burn it down. Doesn't quite get it. Nice defense from uh, Batten and Stalman there. Batten actually cleaning up uh, Nexus's units in Stalman's base. Batten being a bit sloppy here, losing some more light infantry for, for, for free. Doesn't actually get to pick up much himself. There is some speech raiding into Antoka's base right now. Antoka is quick enough to scout this and turns the peasants on them. Doesn't really lose anything. Batten being quite aggressive onto this formation, trying to snare them with the siege, but he just turns and loses the siege for free. Quite a big Baton formation going into uh, Antoka's base. It has been scouted. Nexus and Antoka are both here to close the flank. And the formation is deterred. Yeah, really good control here from uh, Nexus and Antoka. I thought for sure this formation from Baton would do something, but it hasn't accomplished anything and actually just given itself up. Um, now, let's look at economy. Uh, so, Baton and Nexus are the only players that have uh, full food. Um, Stallman seems to have forgotten his mill upgrade. That's a huge mistake. He did it um, very late, um, probably around the fifth minute, which it probably explains a little bit why he's um, struggling. Stalman actually in a lot of trouble right now. He has two huge armies outside his base from Antoka and Nexus. I'm not sure he'll be able to hold this alone, but it is a bit of a mistake here from Antoka sending his light infantry in front. Now, I will tell you that Stalman has produced the lowest amount of food, 80,000 and uh, 14,000 gold, which is the lowest of the four, of the four players by 5,000. So yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if yeah he just was completely on upgrade. So Stallman's about to be uh, minus completely. I think his base is gone, and as long as Nexus and Antoha uh, hold, um, 
Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, look, look. Uh, some of uh, Nexus's army is out of position, so Baton is basically going to try to kill uh, Nexus right now. If he doesn't succeed, then I think it's basically game over. I'm in losing the diplomatic center. Going yeah, to lose the uh, town hall. To lose everything. He does have this army that he has approaching from the south, can maybe say salvage some of his mines and some of his buildings. Now on top and Tuck can actually see... opt, opt in to burn the barracks right now, which I feel is a bit of a mistake. <laughs> yeah, definitely it's a mistake. The barracks has like 30,000 HP. It uh, it's, uh, takes forever to burn. Yeah, a mistake there. Now, Baton is uh, doing, as I said, he's going to try to just uh, push Nexus right now. And if he doesn't, um, you know, if Nexus holds, I think basically the game is over because Stallman's base is pretty much gone. All right, so the question is, does Nexus hold or not? Easy. He can... Nexus will hold this easy with no. the Dragoons. No, he hasn't. He doesn't die from this. There's no way. And now Antoker has got his Dragoons backing him up. It's it's GG. Although there was a sneak attack into uh, Batten's base actually by uh, Nexus. Uh, yes, taking down yes, his diplomatic deep. center and his market. Yeah. Oh no, not his market, just his diplomatic center. Yeah, like I said, GG. Nice. That was, uh, that was a great game. 13 minutes. Well played. Let's take a quick look at the economies. So, uh, Bates and Nexus were the fastest to get a uh, full food economy. Like I said, Stallman forgot his uh, economy. He forgot his mill up, which is a critical mistake. Uh, that alone can lose the game. Uh, and yeah, Antal Hostalman were a little bit late with their um, food upgrades in terms of gold. Nexus 30k, Antoha 29k, Baton and Stal uh, Baton 28, Stallman 20. Yes, yeah, so Stallman lagging behind on economy. And uh, yeah, it's an RTS game. It's an economic game. It's very important. But yeah, all played by uh, Atoha and Nexus there. All right. Let's take a look at the chat here. So we have... Um, Farinik. Hello, welcome. Um, Cherbushka, welcome. Alisa Ribalova, this is Union Aisha, welcome. Tiger, ho ho. Tiger's cheering for Stallman. Um, and here we go. French Fox is here. Hello, French Fox. French Fox said more hype than World Cup 2021. <laughs> Arnold Bala. We have Maxim Yakubishin uh, with a frown face. So I guess he was cheering for Bates in installments. So that's unfortunate. Sorry, Maxim. Sorry your team couldn't win. But it's only one game. It's a best of five. Let's not forget that. What are your predictions? Well, to be completely honest, I'm, uh, as a pro commentator, I completely don't know what options we're playing. So let's see, 15 minutes, no capturing peasants. That's the only unique thing that I see. And then the Mediterranean map. Okay, so it's like a regular, basically 15 piece time, like raiding, but with the strange map. So as I understand it, this particular map can throw out some really weird arrangements for the players. I've seen uh, some really imbalanced ones uh, from when I was watching on Toha, Nexus, and some of the th these other, other guys practicing. So um, I know that 
uh, all of these players are very good at Posex, obviously, and they're all quite good at um, 15 piece time. So my prediction basically is going to be that the team that does the best scouting and reacts the best to their opponent's uh, play uh, plan is probably going to be the winner. That's all I'm going to predict. Right, okay. How about you? What are your predictions for this one? Uh, I meant for the entire series. I think Antarctica and Nexus will win. Stalman has been playing really sloppy throughout this tournament, if I'm to be perfectly honest. I think he took some sort of break for a while. I didn't see him playing very much. And now he's come back into it again and he's playing in a tournament. And uh, based on some of the his performance throughout the tournament so far, I was actually surprised to see him in the finals. Not, uh, not, not, not to uh, be rude to the guy uh, in any shape or form. Uh, he's a very good player, but uh, I would like to see him uh, uh, play his best, you know? Yeah, I totally understand what you're saying. We we were talking about this recently in uh, the Boomer Tournament Discord. Like players like Warren, who are very good uh, players, they come back after a long break and they expect to um, beat everyone. And really, it's not realistic because uh, without practice, all of your mechanics kind of well, they deteriorate. So yeah, it seems like that's happened to Stallman. But yeah. he's a very good player, very classy player. And, you know, like in, in football, they say, uh, you know, form is temporary, class is permanent. So hopefully Stallman can show some of that class. We know that he's a very good player. And uh, yeah, I hope he can show that in this next game. There's a bit of a yikes here, but uh, it's not going to make too much of a difference. But... I think there's a bit of a mistake in Batten's build order. Opting to build two barracks and then go for the... Uh... Oh no, he does take the peasants away from the academy. Okay, that, that, it's not so bad then. I've seen him throw down the academy in the second barracks and then the town hall. That's going to lose him some villagers second time. We'll probably drop one or two behind in villagers, which can make a slight difference between getting that upgrade and not. But uh, he does pull the peasants and corrects it. Yes, all players are definitely playing three town hall builds. No two town hall builds in this one. Uh, uh, it's our fa our favorite thing to see when you're playing raiding. You look over at your teammates and they're building two town hall. Um, you know, but this game would definitely. Uh... Hate to see someone go to for a more two town uh, for, go for a two town hall build, especially in fifteen minute peace time. They're just missing out on so much of an economical edge. Mm -hmm. There's really nothing to gain. Nope, especially as as these players showed, you you can uh, basically cr create a academy and two two barracks with the three town halls. So, actually, when I play. Um, Rating, I kind of prefer going for one barrack and getting the gold upgrades first. You lose a few um, pikemen, I think you lose maybe like 30. Or in this case, um, you know, players are playing musketeers, so you lose like maybe 30, 40 musketeers, but you get the much more gold. Um, I do think uh, ASAP is uh, in the chat has actually uh, um, mentioned my point. Uh, two active players versus two non active players. I wonder who will win. But uh, it does seem like Antoka right now has actually forgotten a mill upgrade, doing a bit of a blunder like Stalman did last game. Oh, he has made it now. Okay, I believe. <laughs> nice. Glad, glad he uh, caught that. Lucky enough to catch on. Actually, he and Stalman both did their sort of late. You know, I think... I think in the um, the early games, some of these players will be going for... Oh, no, that's very strange. Yeah, I agree. He's got all his peasants on, on food, but he didn't have the mill upgrade. Then he did the mill upgrade. Uh, now he's doing the wood upgrade, and he's pulled all the peasants off of um, 
food onto wood. So yeah, it's strange. <laughs> Not I'm ideal. actually going for the the wood upgrade before the mill upgrade. Yeah, see that that's uh I would say that is more uh, normal because uh, you basically have very few workers on food and most of them are on wood. So he's uh, he's basically showing that he's going to be playing for stables. He already has two. It, that makes sense. Your field so is going to finish saturating before the academy is built. Mm, yeah, it does, it does. So, uh, I'm not really sure what of an edge this gives, but I mean, if you can afford it, upgrades are upgrades, right? Every player here opting to play the uh, 17th century musketeer. Oh, actually a bit of a deviation here. Uh, Nexus started producing musketeers and decided, fuck that, I'm building pikes. So, we're going to probably see a quite a bit of aggression. Is overstepping into Antoka's territory right now. If Antoka is smart enough, he can lame him, which is going to be absolutely funny to watch. But no, even no, no, though no, no, that, no, no. that they're, can't fucking. They're on the same team. Never they're mind, the same they're team. on the same fucking team. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I got so excited then thinking something like that was going to happen. Yes, yes, yes. Well,. At this stage of the game, um, eight minutes in, you know, he would have lost some pikemen. It wouldn't have been catastrophic, but they are on the same team. But, however, check this out. So this basically shows their um, strategy that they are going to... Uh, likes to break team. down the wooden wall and double team baton. Yeah. Pro would like to see Nexus actually throw up uh, multiple wooden palisades on his side. Oh, he will. He, uh, Nexus loves, uh, building five layers of fence. That is his specialty. He will absolutely do that. It's like, uh, Nexus right now is going for full front line. Round shields, pikes, and writers. Pure melee form. Gotta, gotta respect the balls on this guy. Now, Huge, gigantic fucking is... testicles. <laughs> Now, the interesting thing is he built a um, crooked fence, the first layer, and there was a chance for Stallman. If he was, you know, thinking ahead, he could have potentially ran through and done some scouting. He would have seen uh, Nexus's rally point. He would have seen that the musketeers he built are just um, decoys. And, you know, maybe they could get ahead of this. But now, because... Um, they're basically playing in the dark. They don't know what's happening. Uh, it's going to be a real surprise for uh, Baton to see, you know, both Nexus's and Antoha's army together on the uh, 15th minute. Actually, now that I look at it, um, did Stallman have some kind of like spy sense that he, you see, he's moving his round shears to Baton. So either he's having the same idea or um, he somehow, he's like figured it out somehow. I certainly hope he's not uh, stream sniping. The stream has a one minute delay, so, you know, he would have uh, heard us talking about this by now. It is quite strange that uh, he is uh, rallying in this direction. Yeah, but only, only the round With, shirt, so it's like without any thing. actual scouting information. Yeah. But it doesn't seem like uh, Nexus is fully committed to uh, Antoka's side either. So maybe it's just a precaution. He's just sending him some reinforcements just in case. Doesn't seem to be rallying over there anymore. Just maybe half a dozen... Uh, round shields have been sent over so far. He does have some muskets uh, in the top quadrant of his base in the north. Re maybe just uh, on standby, ready to assist, as there is a lack of scouting information for both sides right now. So we'll just have to see which kind, uh, which uh, approach they would like to take with their attack path. Yeah, I mean, Stallman has... Uh, I mean, I'm looking at the uh, Stallman's team's vision, and they don't—they can't see anything. I mean, it would—it's 
like I, t like I said at the start, it's really important to scout in this option because right now, um, and by the way, like Nexus, I think is very committed to this attack. He, his entire army is over here. Um, these uh, few round shoes from uh, Solomon, they're not, they're not really going to help, I don't think, especially against pikes and riders, by the way. Wow. Um, yeah, Nexus uh... is basically... For uh, for Stalman, he does have the the winged hussar in production, so th these can uh, traverse the map pretty pretty fucking quickly. Speedy Gonzalez straight to Batten's base for some assistance. Yes, that's true, and he does have a lot, by the way. He has uh, four stables with four stables harness upgrades. So every minute he's producing. What is the harness upgrade? Ah uh, yes, the you know the 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 the, 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 the faster horsey horse upgrade. The horseshoe the, upgrade. That's right. No, it, it's called faster horsey <laughs> upgrade. Okay, I, I called it the correct thing last game, and people started freaking out. So we're calling it the fast horsey upgrade. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so he has it. So he's producing sixteen of these winged hussars. Now, what's special about winged hussars? They're um. Armored. They're very fast. They have armor. They have high attack, high defense. They're very strong and easy to upgrade. So cheap to upgrade. Would have actually preferred him to go for the uh, 17th century uh, musketeers, uh, uh, dragoons, as they do produce faster than standard dragoons. Yes. For most European nations. And it's going to be better in the long run because he would only have one type of upgrade to get. Whereas now, if he wants to upgrade these Hussars, he's going to have to invest in uh, Curseus and so on and so forth. Now, look at this. Um, Antojo's cavalry is on the left. Um, I guess threatening some sort of raid on uh, Stalin. I think his intention with that is to keep Stalin on his base. Um, and then uh, Stalman's cavalry came over to the right side to assist Baton along with his um, 140 round shears. But when they got here, they found that actually both Nexus's and Antoha's armies are here. So hmm, it's like, what, uh, what do they do? Uh, it seems... Stalman is sending part of his army to the right. It's going to be quite a walk. Um, and by the way, Nexus built three proxy artipos on, on Toha's base. He's already got workers here, so if he needs to abandon his base, he is ready to do that. Um, would, li would like to see Batten actually just set up his artillery on the mountain, uh, on the hill that they have here, and uh, just start chipping away. Mm. Stallman is sending just a small formation of uh, round shears. He's having some control all problems, by the way. He's uh, sending, they're, they're walking one way, they're walking another way. Oh, but the round shears are through, and they have two levels of uh, fence to go through before they can start, uh, you know, coming into Nexus's base, whether he's going to have enough to uh, hold his base, I don't know. So it's actually flipping from uh, pikes now to pure musk pr uh, musk production. Yeah, yeah. He built them for the rush, uh, for the rush on a base, and then figured out that hey, there's this massive hill. Maybe we can't uh, do any kind of rush. And now all those units, every every minute that passes, those pikemen are worth less. That's kind of unfortunate. I think it, it's kind of looking like Nexus uh, may have picked the wrong strategy. Um, I don't think he can hold what's coming to him on top here. There's uh, over 200 musketeers and 120 round shears there. So he's, um, and Nexus has barely any army here. He's not going to be able to hold it. He uh, does have a lot of uh, wing two sides here to back him up. So uh, the. Uh... He's just buying time right now. The wing to yeah, is giving true. no fucks, just heading straight in there. Quite a lot of oh upgrades from he's absolutely decimating the units here with the musk firing in as well. There's just everything just gets cleaned up. Now Antoha's uh winged hussars have 
uh, five, six upgrades. So let me see. 23 attack. Uh, 30. Testing. Five defense against bullets. 11 defense against pikes. These wing two sides um, can literally just push all the way to uh, Stalman's base right now. Yes. 12 defense against swords. The, the attack on the is... right's going down though. The huge engagement here. Batten's had a fuck enough. He's fed up of sitting on the hill. I think this is an overcommitment here. There's so many shooters here from uh, Antoka. With with the pikes to buffer, I just think there's way too much. The pikes are just going to end up getting stuck on the uh, the the wing to assassins are going to end up getting stuck on these pikes, not get into the back line like they want to for these squishy musketeer targets. The cannon volleys are pretty good for both sides, but I'm just going to have to put this in uh, Nexus and Antoka's favor here. They have just way too much. They're pushing on both sides right now. The wing to assassins absolutely decimating on the other side of the map. Yeah. Pushing. Yeah, it's GG. I think it's GG. Stallman can't save his base. Just to give a reference, Stallman's Musketeers have 16 attack. Uh, Toha's uh, Wing Tussars have 5 defense against bullets, so these are doing 11 damage per attack. Uh, the Wing Tussars also have 225 uh, HP, so it takes 20 over 20 shots for one of these. Uh, musketeers to kill one Hussar, which means basically, I don't know, these Hussars just going ham on uh, Stallman. You also forget that uh, Musketeers have less chance to hit Hussars. Yeah, yeah. Musketeers right. have less chance of hitting Hussars, so even if they do hit these, this is why they're such a strong unit. There's a chance that they don't. And they're gonna have to hit him a lot of times. I, I'm feeling like this game is already over. It's it was over as soon as uh, Stalman lost so many units on the left side, for just against Hussars that and didn't really take any casualties. The Hussars just decimating everything. Cap capture is on. They're just keep creeping these Hussars around right now, just picking off mines. You don't think the game is over? I mean. Well, I think Stallman is going to go down. Uh, uh, in it moment. may not be over, but it's an uphill fight for sure. Meanwhile, Nexus is teching up uh, behind this. He's got two 18th century barracks going up um, on Toha. Um, one, two, three. Antoha, by the way, has captured Netherlands, so he's uh, he's going to be building out uh, Netherlands now. Um, it seemed like I was wrong. The the game still the battle still rages on. Nexus and Baton pushed all the way back. The forces are hold. He was actually forced to delete the artillery as well. Nexus forced to delete the artillery. Even some of the cannons actually getting captured. He's able to push him back, securing this hill again in front of Baton's base. Also the same them. also the same for Stallman. He's actually captured some of the cannons. This is actually Ooh. turning back into their favor. They may have lost some economical damage to some mines being lost, but that's nothing as long as the bulk of your peasants are alive. Well, maybe, except Stallman has uh, the biggest meeting on his field that we've ever seen. He's gotten 100 peasants on one tile of uh, wheat. He really needs lose to the town hall. He, he he has already built new mills, so he will be able to saturate them soon. Macro is a little bit slipping, but in amongst all this action, I do, it's hard for them to uh, to be able to 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 uh, to concentrate on everything that's going on. There's just so much action: mines being raided, cannons being captured, hills being taken, men just dying all over the battlefield. <laughs> Yes, chaotic. Now, um, to put into perspective, uh, Stallman, again, Stallman's got a pro big problem on his field. He's got 100 workers standing, 97 of them are on a single tile of wheat. They're not working, so he's got no production. He's got 5,000 food. Um, finally, the field is back. He's finally got his economy back. Um, meanwhile, Nexus, he's already built uh, two 18th barracks, so every minute he's producing like 120, 
110 of these uh, 18th century pikes, which basically they're playing against shooters. So they're basically providing a ton of limits to take damage. Um, and let's see, what else, what else? Uh, Bayton has gone 18th century. He's got the second mill upgrade. Nexus has had it for a while now. He's had it for about five minutes. Um, Finally, someone taking the initiative. The first shipyard goes down by yeah, Antoka. Antoha. Antoha and Baton both. They both have the same idea. Oh, the, oh, Baton has the shipyard as well. It's actually closer to being finished. These ca The ships in the sea actually being able to come into this gulf here would be so nice to cover the choke point. If you could just get a couple of yaks out. Yes, and... And as soon as you get a cut, some galleys out and the... It's been scouted uh, though. Okay. It's being raided right now. It could get captured by these uh, hussars. Oh, huge economic damage. It just, damage. just finishes in time. Huge economic damage for, from these hussars. The winged Oof. hussars absolutely shredding through everything. Now, Baton has 129 peasants lost. That's uh, compared to Stallman's 33 peasants lost. Until has 42 peasant sauce and Nexus 9 peasant sauce. So Nexus has the fullest economy right now. He's, um, yeah, he's doing very well. Baton has taken the biggest economic damage. So basically, the longer this game drags on, the further um, Baton is going to fall behind. Um, time is on the side of Nexus and Until. Now, if we look on the top left, um, Stallman is not going to be pushing. Nexus anytime soon. Nexus has about, I would say, five times the limit that uh, Stallman has. So the left is basically, um, you know, I could see Nexus just taking all his Dragoons and going over to the right side and helping on Toha. I don't think um, Stallman's going to do anything on this side. Would love Although... to see Stallman right now get this scouting information, realize there's not that many cannons here, queue up like three to four multi-barrels and just push. There is an opportunity, mm. a window of opportunity here for Stalman where he could literally push Nexus and do significant damage and take down his uh, his number advantage. If only he just scouts this and builds some multi-barrel cannons. Is getting two uh, 18th century barracks for himself behind the back of this. Also one going up for Batten. So they are trying to edge back into the game. Already mass amounts of uh, artillery depots being put down and stables for... Antoka, he has captured uh, Netherlands technology, is building with Netherlands, is going to take a massive lead in, in terms of units if uh, is not left unchecked. Yes, exactly. This is why this is basically why um, they aren't doing anything. They're just chilling because they understand that as every minute that passes, Antoka has double the production of Baton and Nexus has earlier 18th century. That means he has better economy. And he's going to be able to, um, you know, maybe Stallman has uh, built or is in the process of building this two 18th century. Galley wars now. have begun. Ah, the yes, yes, yes. Captain Antoha is working. Um, although, although Baton does have a few more ships. I think Baton has realized that, you know, with the um, double nation, you know, his, his chances going of down. winning are never going to Man's actually pushing into the hill. This is a huge mistake. He realizes he's on a timer and just calls the GG immediately. Yes, yes, yes. I think he realized that Antoha had two nations and he knew that right now, like his situation is not getting any better every minute. So, you know, it's only ever getting worse. Yeah, and he GG's out. Um, Stallman's gonna just for the, just for, um, I don't know, just to do it, he's going to press Ctrl R and attack. And again, um, seems like Antoka and Nexus take take the take the game. They are two to zero right now. Need, gonna need gonna need Stalman and Batten to really step up their game and try and do make something happen in this third game. Otherwise, it's game over. Lights out. The tournament will be done. The winners would be Antoka and Nexus. All players right now playing well, but there's just something lacking from Batten and Stalman. They need some fire in them right now. Doesn't feel like they want to win making uh, these silly mistakes. Yeah. And does seem like no Batten just gave here. up. Batten just gave up. He lost the control of the sea and realizes that he was on a timer. 
Like, there's so much production coming out from Antoka right now. The fight's on the left happening, though. The hill advantage is for Anto Nexus again. So, the, he's committing into the hill. I think he's just fighting for the fun of it right now. Just to buy himself some time before he goes into the next game. Maybe clear his thoughts. Understand what he did wrong. Maybe understand something that he can exploit in the next game. Because this game is well and truly over. Nexus, by the way, is uh, out of iron and coal and he doesn't even have uh he doesn't have anything to trade it for or to trade for it so it doesn't matter even so even so he's winning the fight on the left um it, it doesn't Salman's matter base is Salman generated. is just by he's just buying time mm -hmm. he's mm -hmm. just buying time to wow. maybe collect his thoughts what a, the what game, a the... Gr great game by uh Antoha and nexus Honestly, no. Antoka and Nexus playing well in this set, uh, but yet again, like I said, it, I, I would really like to see uh, Baton and Stalman actually pull themselves together for this last game. They are the underdogs in this match, I feel. Both players not playing as much anymore. But, uh, I would really like to see like sort of a timeout. I would like Baton and Stalman to just say, hey, let's take a pause, like five minute break, you know? Go um, pull themselves together because... They're on the verge of losing this uh, best of five final 3 0. Oof. That's rough. All right. I haven't taken a look at this uh, stream chat in a while. So let's see. Um... Okay, so Ivan uh, Shemihon, hi all, hi Ivan, Fernick, uh, who is in commentary? It's uh, KGR Alex and Commander. I'm KGR Alex. Um, Metafrost is in the chat. Stallman Noob, King Kong, Rob Pro. Yes, that's true. Um, Tiger said facts. Mm -hmm, exactly. Uh, Beppa said Stallman is noob. Um, or equals noob. Yes. Uh, apparently. Um, let's see. Max Maximus said Solomon hasn't played for a few months. Yep. That seems to be a, a disadvantage for him. Hollerfit said he can beat Solomon every day, one hand behind his back. <laughs> well, I think he did it yesterday, so he's not lying. Um, Maximus said, don't know how is Baton going. Don't know what you mean. Uh, Nexus and Antoha are a crazy team. Yep, it seems that way. Um, let me see, make sure I am ready. Oh, and let me change my color. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, Nexus asked for the blue color. Mm -hmm. So, colors and uh, Commander, just a sort of like a random topic. What's your opinion on colors and Cossacks? Like, some players really prefer playing certain colors. You notice every, the reason is always color. Every strategy game I've ever played, I've always had a favorite color. Back when I used to play Red Alert 3, uh, I used to play Red Alert 3 semi-professionally. Uh, used to be in a lot of tournament games. And if I couldn't get my color, I wouldn't play the game. Mm, it's very interesting. See, Baton prefers orange. He's always orange. Also, um, when, you're, when you're looking at the map, you're used to seeing uh, your own color on the map. This is why in certain RTS games, you can, uh, like StarCraft, for instance, you're able to make your color whatever you want, regardless of what your opponent sees. So you can set it in the options. Like uh, I always used to be uh, like blue, for instance. It would be blue no matter what. No matter what game I was playing, I was blue. And you would see it differently, but I would see it as blue. So it's just nice for reference when checking your mini map. You see blue, you know it's yours. You see any other color, you know it's not. You know, so. Uh, yes, I, I understand. I was actually going to mention StarCraft as well. I know a lot of professional StarCraft players 
uh, play their point of view in their favorite color. Like for example, Cero, he uses like a white color for all his uh, units and structures. It's really, it's really strange. I think the white actually sort of clashes with some of the features on the map, but for some reason, you know, he, he likes it. So I don't know. But yeah, yeah, but he's, he's playing Zerg, so he's usually all over the map. So I don't think mm -hmm. he really cares. His creep spread is insane by like the twenty minute mark. He's just like fucking in, creeping at your natural. So I don't really think he gives a fuck. <laughs> all right, now um, taking a look back at the chat. Yeah, I'm seeing an awful lot of kind words uh, pointed to me. Thank you very much, guys, for your kind words. Really? I I didn't see uh, I didn't see anybody say anything about Commander. Uh, are we looking at the same chat? Uh, what are what are you seeing? Commander hyping us for something that won't happen. Ah, uh, they must have. They must have I, I, I'm looking at Colorfit's chat. Oh, we have an island that. game right now. Islands, Ukraine and Denmark versus Ukraine and Denmark. And Toka uh, mirror, uh, mirroring Ukraine with Baton. So uh, this is going to be a very interesting game. Very close mm -hmm. distance. Will be uh, will be interesting to see uh, immediately stables going down from Antoka looking to get aggressive with some Hetman here. Uh, also, two stables coming out from uh, Baton, but does decide to build the uh, second town hall first. I believe this is a millions game, so economy just doesn't even matter. Already the first Siege Cossack coming out from Antoka is probably going to look to be able to capture some of these buildings here. But it's going to be difficult because uh, the Ukrainian peasants are just warriors of their own. Do not let you capture buildings. You're scared of their hammer in their hands and their woody, their little w willing straw hat. <laughs> They're so no, intimidating. Antoha is doing a little raid here. He's going to be able to do nothing. <laughs> yeah. Ah, but it's the headmen are here. The headmen the are, are here. He's go build, sending the headmen straight for the... Denmark player. The Denmark player is going to be fucked now. Yes. Minus minus two barracks already. Minus two uh, barracks. Not... Minus most of his infantry. Minus the peasants. Ukraine, such a balanced nation. Gl glad to see the devs put this in the game. It's very, very balanced. Already Dragoons coming across the map as well. Starman absolutely getting just smashed here the diplomatic center nearly gets captured the peasants go down Stalman now currently has zero peasants what's he going to do absolutely fucking nothing the game is practically over before it started now the interesting thing is um teammate units do not prevent capture so as long as uh you know if they're somehow able to kill all of Baton's units, or all of Stallman's units. Even if uh, Baton is there on his base, he will be able to capture the rest. But look, he has a few peasants, and um, he has, you know, millions and millions of uh, resources. Or not millions, actually, I just realized it's one million. <laughs> so yeah, he has resources, he'll be able to rebuild. The only problem is everything's going to be very slow because he's lost a bunch of workers. And meanwhile, Nexus has had, you know, a normal amount of workers. I'm looking to push in here. This is a bit of a mistake considering he's completely outnumbered. Stalman's Dragoons are so late into the fight. Does manage to catch a couple of stray musketeers here. He's getting a nice angle for engagement, but not currently microing. Seeing a very big lack of micro from Stalman does decide to pull back. Both players pulling back now on the defensive. Completely on the back foot here. And Toka and Nexus just pushing in. They just don't give a fuck. Huge testicles on these players. <laughs> yeah, well, I think they've realized that. Uh... There's no reason for them to play defensive right now. They have cannons coming in. Cannons coming out from both Ukrainian players right now. 18th century barracks is being close to completion for the other Denmark player. Nexus is now producing 17th century uh, pikes as well. There's going to be so much cannon fodder here. Stalman just barely holding on with what he has. 
I would like to see the peasants be pulled out from the Ukraine. Just put, just send the peasants in. Just send them no, in. No, it's over. It's over. He's, he is. He's sending them. <laughs> it's over. Wow, just like that. Just sending them in to tank some shots. The artillery is being captured from the foundries immediately by Antoka. He's going to have so many cannons to work with here. They're actually just ganging up, m pushing the right side, looking to engage into uh, Starman's base. The peasants are being pulled. They're just gunned down immediately. Ukrainian uh, musketeers, quite strong. M one might say OP. There's just way too much here for Starman and, and Batten to cope with. Yeah. It's going to be a little bit of time now when the cannons will start hitting the buildings. And then GG is called. And Tucker and and Nexus win the game. Yes, and win the grand final. Ah, uh, okay. Hmm. If Antoha and Nexus agree, I would like a regame since the map was unfair. I don't think the map was unfair. I don't know, yeah. I personally so... don't think the map was unfair. It may be uh, a little bit unfair because uh, why? I think uh, Antoha and Nexus are very close to one another, and well, I don't. I honestly, I don't even know. I think it's it's fair. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to think of a reason why it might be fair. Antoka, Ukraine, Baton, Ukraine, far out. It's a big difference. What? Uh, I, I don't know. To be honest. Yeah, it seems like the different the distance between uh, between. Baton and Stallman's a little more than the distance between Antoha and Nexus. No, but the, the reason they lose this game is because Baton didn't do the right build. That, that is yeah, the reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baton, you, you, Baton... guys can say, you guys can say what you want. I watched the game from my perspective. Baton <laughs> went for two Town Hall, then some Barracks, and then decided to throw down double Stable. Well, Antoka yeah. went straight Stable, Blacksmith Stable. Uh, no, uh, Town Center, Blacksmith Stable. That build order wins. You get one yes. siege out and then nothing but Hetman. Star the, the, the Denmark players in this game are irrelevant. You're you're sort of you're right you're right. Uh, but you guys do whatever you want. I, I uh, <laughs> like uh, if you want to do another game, that's up to you. Uh, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, Nexus and Toka win win the tournament. But you do think, whatever uh, you want. I think Colored was just expecting a longer. Uh, yeah, he was expecting a better final. game. He, he was expecting a longer game, a bit more conflict, but, you know, the, when you play a tiny-ass map on continents, uh, 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 when you play a tiny-ass uh, on tiny as uh, continents, and you bring he Ukraine into the mix, like, there's just no contest, it's just too strong. If one, pl if one Ukrainian player doesn't do the right build order, the game is over. Yeah, but it's true. As Colorfit is the administrator, uh, you know, obviously uh, it's up to him what happens if the players decide that they want to regame or whatever. But that's that's uh, their prerogative. You know, I've never known Antoha and Nexus to be very generous. I don't think we'll get a rematch. Just I mean, thinking. What? Why would they? <laughs> Well, Colorfit is saying if they if they're down to do a rematch, they can. I mean, but... give me one good reason why they should. <laughs> um, because it was too one sided, and it feels empty to win just in such a one sided fashion. It's like you're taking. It's like you know you're. Uh, but it's not like abuse or something, you know. It's You're not. Like, it's not like they took candy from a baby. They did just win two <laughs> games in a row in different rules: five k zero peace time and fifteen peace time with capture. Standard ladder rules by the looks, uh, by the sounds of it. Except maybe the Mediterranean part. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, Antaka and Nexus win the win the tournament. But uh, I would like to see what goes on. Maybe the admi the admins would like to uh, step in and uh, shed some words on this. Um, actually, I say words, but uh, the administrator doesn't have a voice box. Oh. Or something along those lines. I am receiving messages from the administrator right now. Uh, he said, uh, the administrator right now saying, I think it's GG, bit disappointing, not gonna lie. It was a very disappointing game, very anticlimactic. I tried to make it as exciting and sounding as possible, but uh, without uh, 
uh, without saying these jokes about Ukraine just being completely broken, uh, there's not really much I could work with there. There's not really much to say on the subject. Yes, it's one player did the one one player did the correct build order, and the the player who's rustier, the underdog, didn't do the correct build order. So. I, I can yes. I can completely understand if Antoka and Nexus just say no fuck you give us our win money we won. <sighs> well, I think now we're going to do just some regular um, regular four v fours or something like that. So if you'd like, you know, I think you're yeah you're not in the lobby right now. So uh, I'm actually currently at the back door with my dog. Ah. Ah, uh, okay. Just waiting for it to come in. Uh, but if there is a slot for me, I will join. Popo. Popo. Come on, babes. <laughs> come and see Daddy Bear. Daddy yes, Bear. The, the pets of, uh, the pets of Kazakh streams. Even my That's dog fair. knows the build order for Ukraine. Mm-hmm. He would never make that mistake. He would never make that mistake. It's the reason I stopped her from playing in tournaments. Good. Maybe next time we can team up, uh, okay. you know, Stallman with your dog. I mean, at least he would have done, she would have done the correct build order for Ukraine. <gasps> it's always stables, isn't it, babe? Stables for Ukraine. This fucking wagging her tail. She knows. Uh, yeah, I actually agree with you there, Asap. Map is uh, maybe unfair, but saying it after the game is finished. Uh, yeah, should have been... that. If, if it, uh, like, to be honest with you, Colorfit, uh, I don't know if you're listening, if you can hear me, but uh, you, uh, if if something like that appears again in one of your tournaments, you need uh, you need to call that in the in the start of the match. Yeah. But it's not in the rules to stop it. But you're the admin. You, if if something's unfair, if, if all players, uh, if all players started with three gold mine, uh, if all players started with four gold mines, but one started with three, you would uh, you would have to call the game, right? You would have to re rematch. You know, it's. <sighs> map was fair I, I i'm not even going to comment on the map I, I i i don't like maybe it wasn't unfair maybe it was i'm not sure what we're referring to but uh the I reason think it... it's that relevant i think the problem is what you said this uh the stable has to come first because the siege is coming the siege is capturing two barracks already so it doesn't even matter the map if it, the map was a little different it would have just taken five seconds longer or two seconds longer to run there and he still would have captured two barracks and then um he basically puts a denmark player under pressure he has to stop um doing whatever he's doing instead of focusing on what he's supposed to be, be building he's focusing on making sure his pikemen are like where they need to be to stop his entire base captured and then the other ukraine player isn't you know isn't helping him that's basically the problem yeah i mean if you wanted to call the map sooner you'd have to call it before things started going tits up because uh i mean maybe from now on at the start of the game you want to pause in the beginning uh just to assess the map and the layout and see if it's too uh imbalanced and then let the players continue to build their town halls and blah 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 yeah, that's true. Can't really, well, uh... You've run tournaments like this before? Uh, yo, uh, Colorfit, I'm not even having a go at you, mate. I'm not even saying anything like this. I'm just talking. I'm literally just talking. But to yes. expect... Uh, what I'm saying... All I'm basically saying is to expect Antoka and Nexus to be like, ah... Oh, uh yeah let's uh re-game after they had won it's like
I think if you wanted to do that type of map, you should have probably put it on medium size. That was medium? That, no, that was tiny. No, that was tiny for sure. When it's what? single continents like that, even the normal map is really small. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know then. Uh, uh, Ukrainian devs, by the way. We make country broken and we make map different. But to be fair, if uh, if the Denmark manages to make it out of the early game, then uh, Ukraine sort of becomes worse. Ukraine um, doesn't have any 18th century barracks and they sort of max out on their production. It comes to a point where their, uh, I think, like sixth barrack is like 40,000 wooden uh, stone. And then the next one after that is like 300,000 or something insane like that. So... You know yeah, but you got you got to take into consideration that they can trade a lot of gold because they don't need it. Mm, yeah, that's true. That's true. But yeah, it's just a it's just a note. Like, what do you get from a single uh, barrack from uh, Ukraine? You get uh, every minute you get five serduks, five and a half, as opposed to like an 18th century barrack from a uh, European nation that does uh, 50 18th century pikemen per minute you know um yeah. yeah so ukraine's ukraine's good but it has disadvantages as well i mean the 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 the, the only the only disadvantage ukraine has is their ability to max out uh, reproduce right but and one of their advantages is being able to get faster into artillery production because you don't have to waste a lot of resources and go into 18th century uh but the the the, the, the biggest counter to ukraine is artillery mm -hmm. but, but they actually beat but really they actually expensive. yeah but they also beat you to artillery is what i'm saying yeah, that's true. Ukraine also have. Uh, they also have the 18th century, century food upgrade in the it, it, straight away, which is completely busted. Mm -hmm. Some of their upgrades are cheaper too, like the ships, uh, the um, building uh, speed. That's uh, cheaper. Yeah, so it's got it's got strong in some ways, but I think like in late game, it really kind of it becomes like irrelevant because, you know. At some point, you're paying like 300k wood and stone for uh, another barrack that just gives you like five serdukes every minute. It's like nothing, you know? I would actually have liked to have seen Scotland instead of Ukraine. That, uh, that, that, uh, that is actually interesting. I wouldn't mind seeing that too. In, in a millions game, Scotland and Denmark, that, that could be interesting. Because mm. even though Scotland kind of has the same problem that ukraine has where they uh can't really uh get a shit ton of production their 17th century pikemen uh as shooters take so long to build but you know it, it, uh, it would be more interesting than seeing ukraine put it that way all right so we are playing a game and we're gonna have color solomon myself and commander against awesome tiger max and so cool. Alright. Oh, oh, we have Stalman. Yeah. Alex Commander 1. I'm already 1. Uh, it's just going to be uh, casual games from now on, uh, Bastion. It's just going to be normal 4v4, general, generalized color fit channel stuff. We're actually going into a game now, so maybe that answers your question. I understand the stream is like a little bit delayed, but maybe someone in the chat can talk to you. By the way, Meta is in the chat. Meta, why don't you come play, man? And Meta? Also, yeah, Meta Frost is here. How BD -E Meta Frosty. Yeah. Which chat are you on about? The stream chat. Yeah, which stream chat? On YouTube. On YouTube. Your stream chat. No, Colorfit's stream chat. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so... So what are you going to do, Alex? 
Oh, I'm not gonna commentate. No, what are you going to do? Um, make a sable first? I don't know. Yeah, ex exactly. Okay, I, I'm, I haven't practiced the, the build, so I don't know, it might distract me from what I really need to do. I don't usually play that, that, uh... No, it's complete cheese, but that's how you're meant to play Ukraine. Okay, well, let's try it. Try it. I mean, against these players, don't know what it's going to do, but we can try it. It's broken. Even good players will struggle to defend against it. Oh, it's two Ukrainians. <laughs> and there it is. Kulu crash. Oh. Ah, <sighs> well, that was weird. <laughs> and the sea shrush and I see that it's another Ukraine. <laughs> ah, amazing. Okay, Commander Stallman, Alex Color, Ossip, Toko Tiger, Maximus. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, Meta, when are you going to come play? Okay. Commander, are you still here? No. Nope. Unlucky again. You're lucky again. 
No, you're on Aki again. Why? Why do you think? Oh, because I'm in the front. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. I don't mind being in front as long as the player behind me actually fucking does something. Well, you have Stallman. Well, then you better fucking do something. You should tell him. Stallman, do something. It's a minute to late. <laughs> wow, I can't believe you disrespect Stallman like that. Lol. <laughs> yeah, they're they're nice color. The best gold ones I've ever seen. So I have Maximus, I'm going to try to... Try to kill an officer if I can. I lost some Siege, unfortunately.
GG. 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 Oh, uh, kind of even on the other side, I guess. No one really had a like stronger nations. Kind of even Saxony and Saxony with Sweden and Bavaria. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. no, it wasn't Sweden and Bavaria. It was two Saxonies. For Sweden and Saxony, so pretty balanced, and then we had Bavaria and a oh, double Bavaria. Damn, they had Team Germany, didn't they? They had nothing but German nations. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, it was hard for uh, Asap to push me because I had Austria. Primorsky Partisan said, White Gamer, bad. You're talking about Tiger? Man, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> But yeah, good job. You lived. You lived yeah. for a long time. In just try, just try to live for as long as possible. Uh, that's what I'm saying. If you have a good player behind you who can kind of hold the right, and I helped him with like 136 formation to just make sure that he could uh, hold. But also, it's difficult for Asap to push me because I have Austria, you know. But he needed to find a gap to outplay me. But I just kept my side scouted and just kind of just held oh, the line we have to Metafrost. buy time oh meta frosty she hasn't played in months he's you haven't touched <laughs> rts in months but okay i'm sure it'll all come flooding back to him This is our chance to just beat Metafrost like really easy, you know. When he's, uh, when he's weak. Uh, <laughs> Sherabushka. Uh, it's fine. Um, when you play in this uh, position that I am in, I know there's like three people with lots of dragoons coming at me, but it's better for Colorfit and the other guy to just keep pushing their side. There's no point in trying to help me. All I have to do is evacuate all my peasants and make sure I don't lose my peasants. I will still have my economy. And uh, they actually managed to kill their player. It, it, it's senseless, senseless for like they're able to push uh, their side easier because Yellow sends his dragoons all the way to, over the other side to help uh, Asap and uh, his teammate, whoever that was. So they commit so much to try and take me out, but we managed to hold a long time, and they lose one of their players because of it. Actually, they lost both players. They lost the entire right side. Yeah, but the the guy in front I'm on about. Or like like the the goal in this is just to survive in front longer than their guy survives in front, basically. That was really weird, though. Tiger put so much pressure on color, and his mines were all right there in front. Sucks. Oh, by the way, you should set uh, team one. I'm team so one, am I? Same team. Commander. Yeah, yeah. yeah team one. <laughs> Commander. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I was uh, I was interacting with your chat, Colorfit. Something that you don't do. Oof. Burn. Oh, maybe people yeah. should send me fucking tea donations and stuff. That's right. Yeah. Why don't you just drop your PayPal? You know. Nah. Chat. Commander at gmail dot com. Y'all can send <laughs> donations. All right, so we have color, installment, 
Okay. All right, good luck. What are your uh, feelings about urination that you have? Very OP. Oh, okay, all right. Okay. Then I play three town hall shooters. That sound okay? Yep. Uh, now, Stalman said we have Asap and Meta in front. Poland, Asap. How does he know? Next. Like, what? He turned his uh, hacks back on after the tournament ended. Yeah, I guess he's got the map. Realized he couldn't realized he couldn't play without the hacks, you know. Mm. Sad, isn't it? How far he's fallen. Scotland here. He has one gold down and uh, two that aren't taken, so I'm gonna just keep denying those two. And he has one more on the. One more on that side as well. Oh, there's some siege that's killing my. My drummer, don't appreciate that. Okay, and we have a formation coming to me in the middle. That's interesting. Actually, he's not. Maybe he's not. I don't know.
Hmm. Toplin, pretty okay. strong. A little, a little late wasn't that uh, message color. You think you could have maybe said something a little earlier? Oh my god, Commander. Yeah, Scotland, uh, pretty good nation. There's going to be a lot of units coming from your flank as well, uh, Alex. Oh, well. That is a problem, yeah. Yes, my wife in the background, yep.
T, please, babe. Commander, Commander, your army is just standing. Yep. Commander, we really need that. Yeah, I'm oh, coming. It's too late. It's too late. All, right. All covers, drags just died. No, no, you should just retreat now. Okay, no, 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 don't retreat. No, no retreat, never retreat. Only forward. Man, where are my workers? Did that many really die? Um, color. If your if your eco is like amazing, uh, I need the resources for third town hall. I lost a show to peasants. Okay, just uh, just to gather up at my base. Let's let's try that. Oh, there's so many drags. There's so many drags there. <laughs> yeah, dude, don't suicide right now. We need uh, we need some some time. We got situation over here. Wow, my economy sucks. Another, another wave coming. Color, color, where are you going? Okay, okay, I guess me and Commander are here. Commander, I don't know about the archers, I think the... I don't know, honestly. Okay, 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 you believe in us? Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, sure, yeah, I believe in us too. Totally. Ah, uh, okay.
Thanks, babe. Yeah, could you put it, uh, the thing on? Are we surviving somehow? Have no coal and iron. The archers shall prevail! No, I'm good, thank you, babe. No, multi barrel. Bastard. Captured it. They left all my mines intact, wow. That's cool, appreciate that. Don't have a market. Um, are we doing a counter attack right now, color? It's going to be real slow. Don't hold your breath. Commander, I think you need to make like cure ka and start sending us resources. Dude, do you realize I don't have any mines, right? Yeah. How am I meant to send you resources when I'm struggling myself? I don't know. We don't have. <laughs> uh, that's a good question. You know, I don't know. I didn't really. <clears throat> I didn't really think it. Th think my expectations for you through. My my. My grenadiers are going feral. <laughs> and you want me to send you resources, good one. Yeah, you know, it's not... You can do it, right? Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. Come on. 
Uh... It's, like, it's not even like I can go 18th century and make the food upgrade, man. I've got every single fucking upgrade and I still have no economy. Color, I think you better go help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave, leave us. Yeah, we're fine. I think. Oh man, yeah, Tiger has a bunch of Hussars, doesn't he? Okay. Yeah, something to stop that, though. Kind of. If I could get some fucking resources. I think you better protect just your your workers right now, because these uh, these hearts come in. It's gonna be GG for us. I don't think this is gonna go that well for us, but yeah, sure. We can go. We can try. What do we have to lose? Come on, come on, come on. Don't, don't go back, don't go back. You're the meat, you're the meat. How about you touch my meat? Why are you behind? <laughs> behind me. No, I mean, it's GG, there's like... It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, GG. Just go, just go. Ah, uh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, it's just no chance, even in that fight. <sighs> I mean, Tiger just comfortably made 18th, and uh, Pussars and everything. Oh. Sitting in the back.
I would have rather fucking Turkey though than Algeria. Then the game is changer. I go fucking Janissary, GG. Janis Janissary. Janis? Janissary. Fucking, I never got a chance to get my critical mass of archers. Fucking Scotland, so OP. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it's a tough game. <laughs> I have not looked at the chat in a long time. Send resources for the team commander. You still have a uh, bayonet on this current year. What? Uh, just the the chat, you know, saying some stuff. That's always saying stuff. By definition, by definition, it is saying things. Yes. Mikhail Lukano, Lukyanov, can I play? Yes, Mike, come on. What are you doing? Come play. What are you waiting for? Do you need a special invitation? Meta, Nexus, Tiger, Sukula, Sub Commander, Color, Meta said he was spec for Mike. Yo, but Stallman, that game, you gotta admit, he he played good. He held against two guys for a long time. Either that or they, I don't know, they didn't attack. Because they knew they were four base against three, so. But yeah, Stallman did good. Why isn't Stallman with us in here? Okay, so I'm team two this time with Mike, Meta, and Asap. 
I know. Hey, Mike. We're on color stream right now, just so you know. Uh, yeah, I have already seen you <laughs> there. I apologize for my English. Nah, you English good. English is amazing. Oh, many thanks. Many thanks. You Ukrainian or Russian? No, uh, Russian. I'm from Moscow. Moscow, okay. Oh, Alex one, okay. Sure, sure. So Mike, Meta, Tiger, Ossip. Are Ty Tiger and Ossip are like best friends now? Always in the same team. <clears throat> same clan. Mike, what do you think about the grand final? <clears> Three <throat> 0 like that. What happened? Um, my favorite game was second one, uh, fifteen piece time. I think it showed that uh, Toha and Nexus uh, were good teammates. They were coordinated, mm -hmm. and um, it <laughs> gave them, I think, um, quite not not maybe not an easy but fair victory. Okay. And um, uh, I haven't seen, I didn't see the third game. Was it on Millions? Yes. It's quite short. Um, That's why you didn't see it, probably. Yeah. Uh, I think that uh, Baton and Stallman probably had chance over there to win this game. Uh, Baton is very good on this option. It seems Which like option? they didn't have preparation. Which option are you on about? Which game? Oh, I'm you talking about millions. millions. <clears throat> the what? Millions. He thinks millions, uh, Bazin and Salman had a chance because Bazin's supposed to be very good at it. I mean, he may be very good at it, but he, he made a big mistake in build order, I feel. Yeah. Maybe he's yeah, good at it, but doesn't play Ukraine? I don't know. So I can give you a synopsis of basically what happened that game. Uh, Antoha ran with some siege to um, to Salman, the uh, the Europe player who had nothing mm -hmm. to defend uh, siege and nothing to defend Hetman. So yeah, he basically captured a bunch of stuff, threw off his entire build, and then. Baton didn't, uh, nah, just too late to help, you know. I have to see this game. To...
No, I mean, you are always in. Uh, ah, but I guess it's 3, three v one over there. Yeah, it's kind of fun, isn't it? I, I have just 40 musketers, so it is 2 versus 2, I think. Uh, I was talking, and uh, when I'm talking, I play really bad. I f forgot how to trade and uh, started just with one barrack and with one stable <laughs> because I traded too much tree. I mean, it's kind of over. It's like just color is dying, I'm dying, or commander is dying, next is already dead. Meta is just gonna drag me into his base with cannons and stuff. Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything here. Produced a multi barrel and works. Ah, uh, he's alive. He's alive. But he has lost his peasants. Yeah, I just threw my army away. That was stupid. Uh, I can play another one. I have time. I had full attack and I think... Uh, Four or five on defense. I mean, it's just so much, so much damage from the. He's had plenty of time to upgrade. He just put him on a seven. What's his name? Tiger or Osip's Drags came in the end. Ah, just whatever. The game's kind of <laughs> one-sided from the start. Uh, I'm talking about uh, Grand Final, so first game, I think that uh, also it was 50-50 and because all the players are very experienced on 5k 0 team, so it probably could uh, affect again team play because when you are 2 versus 1, you probably win one thing and then can finish another one, but as I saw it happened like uh, Nexus one button or something like this, wasn't it? Uh, like one one versus one, I mean. So in that game, Stallman forgot his mill up until like middle okay. of the game. He, he had, uh, I'd say he had like 30% less uh, food than everyone else. And he just lost versus Antoha on one big fight on upgrades. And he had no army left after that. 
and uh, it didn't help that Nexus had like a small formation there, but you know, he lost his entire army just on. He probably had like one or two upgrades less or something. Yeah, I misread colors. I thought it was bot who lost. Yeah, and then Basin uh, did like a Hail Mary push to try to kill um, Nexus. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nexus just stood in behind his buildings and somehow held. And yeah, that's it. But yeah, I think if Stallman doesn't forget his mill up in that game, then it's uh, it's a more balanced game. I think it affects the way you play too, you know? Because he realized it around like five, six minutes, he realized it and he did that upgrade. And he must have, uh, you know, he must have realized like, oh my God, I have so little food, like what happened? And then from then on, it changes how you play. Because you, you try to play, you try to pretend like you're normal but you know that you're like an upgrade behind, so you can't fight. You know, you don't want to show it, like you're playing against Antoha, you don't want to show that you're being passive, but at the same time, you got to make sure you don't fight. Weird. Yeah. You got to play passive without looking like you're playing passive. Um, but as I know Stalman's style, he usually upgrades gold mines, so probably he had less uh, pieces on fields, and uh, if he had 35 or something like this on gold, it would be good for, no. for him, so it doesn't affect the game. No, but he I, didn't, yeah. I think he, I think he ended up having less, uh, less golds than everyone else too. I mean, he forgot uh, forgetting Mila basically is like pretty catastrophic. Yeah. You know, when you play one versus one with the neutral, uh, you have a lot of peasants walking away to the neutral to take gold mines and get great gold, and uh, when you are moving with your army and you don't fight and you don't have fully upgraded pike till uh, dragoons come and you have to upgrade your gold to make uh, heroes and mm -hmm. so you probably can have four, four upgrades till the end of the game maybe five five till the general fight no, I don't think so, because you... It, it, it I matters, just played, of course, I just yeah. played a few 1-1s one and, you know... People like Stallman, for example, he rushes 5-5. Mm -hmm. five, five. He'll make 5-5 five, five and he won't do any food upgrades or any anything like that. He just does 5-5 five, five and then, he, you know, you lose 1-5 Yeah, it, it depends. Him. It depends yeah. how the, the game goes. But, you know, um, I was talking that uh, a lot of pieces don't work on meals. And you physically cannot make upgrades because you don't have food, you have a lot of gold. Yeah, sometimes and I actually trade gold to wood. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, yeah. today uh, I watched uh, for Antoha and um, uh, he had gold for Kiros, he had gold for Dragons, but he had no food because all of his business were on neutral mines and mm -hmm. he was uh, playing as a first number and he was leading and everything was fine. And he just made his upgrades late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just matters. It just matters when, you, when you're when you fighting. You don't want to yeah. fight, lose uh, a formation, and then, you know, and then do your upgrades later. So yeah, if you can control, like, you know, make sure you don't, you don't lose a formation somewhere or two. I think one formation you can sort of make up. Maybe. But you don't want to stay on 4-4 four, four and your opponent does 5-5, five, five, you go and take a fight and then lose a formation. Now it, it like pulls everything out of whack. You have to pull units from somewhere else to cover that.
it means your attacks weaker and so on. Yeah, it's all it's all situational. I haven't looked at the stream chat in a long time. Uh, the chat noticed that I have built uh, a stable and color burned it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so this game I'm going to suffer, it looks like. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, color has a has a good mission. Okay, so I would say your front guy has some chances to survive, but not a lot. Your so front and your front guy also has chances. Has chances. Okay, okay. Yeah. Why is it is it you over here? I uh, have a specific nation, so it. It might work, or, or not. Yeah, Ukraine? You'll see. No, I don't want to see. This is a very specific nation. Oh, I'm against Asap with Turkey. Oh, seriously? Wow. Commander, you're gonna have to help me.
Commander, where are you? You're like, uh... Nice. What's happening at color right now? Is it okay? I'm not sure. Uh, first I press him with my siege and kill some of his peasants on the fields. And then Cuban came for so as I see, he doesn't have a base, and he, he said, lost. He said no eco damage, so I don't know. I think he's calling you a liar. I don't know. I sent the. I sent the form to him. So. Commander, Commander, look, 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 look. So, oh my God. I mean, he came. He came to me first with a form, so it's like a... commander. Oh, I mean, there's no chance. I don't think. I think we can just GGG out. Shit. Commander? Oh my god. I'm gonna be minus deep right now. Okay. Nice. Yeah, just don't let him kill that gold mine.
Commander, a new, new formation coming. Oh, I don't know how to so. Oh. Can I just build a third town hall as well? Oh, are we alive somehow? Oh my god, we're alive somehow. Oh. Okay, okay.
Oh, Carter, you have to help. You have to help, uh, Nexus. I'm still alive somehow. I don't know how. Okay, I have a hundred drags, and that's all I've got. So... I need dress for 18th. I need coal gold. You're asking if we have wood? I just traded it all away, unfortunately. Okay, I have 18th now. But, th I mean, that's all I have. Are you all living over there?
Careful. I can't really push anyone. They have a shield of cannons. How about uh, instead of pushing him, I will just uh, distract him a little bit. How about that? Does that work for you? By the way, I just made a uh, Kirka, so you know the full stone. So in a minute, I'm gonna have everything that I need. Okay.
me. I can use some resources, yeah. Commander, you just need to back up. Oh, there goes one of my barracks. It's okay, I didn't need those. Okay, I have one eighteenth. Go? Okay. We're pushing? Like full pushing? No, I don't know. I don't think we need to. Don't push. Don't push. Just chill. Just chill. We're uh, we're doing okay. God, my hand is going numb though. That's a problem. Okay, I still have f four stables somehow. They haven't destroyed them. That's cool. Yeah, there's a lot. Lol. Oh, my academy's gone. Oh, my God. Savage. Yeah, I can use rest. Okay, I have two 18th century barracks.
I don't think I can. I don't think I can win this. Caller, caller, I'm pulling out. I'm pulling out. You sure? Okay. Okay. All my cannons are behind. Go back when you say, okay, all right. No, this is not, this is not gonna work. Ah, he has a bunch of multis there. I don't know why Tiger losing one versus one versus Nexus. Uh, they said that he is not good on macro, but he was uh, there was help helping Cuban with some army, so they were like he was not alone. I don't know. As Asap is playing whole game bikes.
Yeah, I'm really disappointed with Tiger's play. Anyway, GG. <laughs> uh, it's... Wait, where was Tiger again? Uh, he was one of the soldiers next to the left flank, and uh, we came to the next base, killed some of his peasants, so... Uh, I don't know why I have donated to Cuban. I don't know if Tiger donated him. Uh, so what did he have? I cannot see his buildings. The game is back. Oh, well, color, I, th I don't know, I think color exited already. All right, guys, so it looks like... Uh... It looks like we're done for today. So yeah, thanks for the um, stream color. We got a best of uh, five tournament grand final, which turned out to be a 3-0 win for Nexus on Tokla. Some really cool strategies to see. So everybody, you know, if you're watching right now, rewind, look back, uh, you know, at the tournament games that are pretty good. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna play some more 4v4 maybe, or maybe we're gonna just call it a day. I'm not sure. But anyway, thanks for hanging out. And thanks for checking out the stream. And uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks everyone. Thanks Color. Thanks Commander. And uh, thanks Mike for hanging out. Thank um, you, Alex. See you. Yep. And I'm gonna, you know, if you want, we can hop into like a different Discord channel. Yeah, it's up to you. Yeah, okay. No problem. All right, all right. See you. See you.